Hey guys, Arlisha here and welcome to another video. Today we are finally going to be taking a look at this gouache set by Mia. Even though it says Himi on the box, the website listing says Mia as the brand. Anyway, <laughs> this is an 18 color gouache set available in either this mint green color or a pinky color. And I also got the 10 piece brush set also. So a lot of you guys have been waiting for this review since I mentioned this set in my previous top gouache tips video, which you can check out if you would like. And I'm so glad that I'm finally getting to share it with you. It kind of took a while because other things had to happen first, but it's here. So this recording of the unboxing footage was actually recorded several months ago, and it was pretty interesting looking back on this footage to put this video together for you guys because I forgot how much of a hassle it was removing the uh, cover, the lids from the tops of these little gouache jelly cups. To be honest, I was not sure at all how I was going to feel about this design. It's gouache in little jelly cups, like how well could that really work? I was really hesitant, it was kind of an impulse buy, but I was looking at the website and it's 30 milliliters in each little cup and 18 colors for $18. That means that each little jelly cup of gouache is like $1 for 30 milliliters of paint. And for example, like a tube of M gram gouache is gonna be like 15 milliliters, so half the size and probably gonna cost you way more between six and $10 per tube. And you're here you're getting twice as much for $1. So I was excited to try it and to play with this gouache and at the same time, kind of hesitant about what to expect from the quality. Taking off all of the lids, the covers, like I said, was kind of a headache because some of the plastic didn't want to come off. So I was already just not really sure how to feel about this. My label was printed off center, wasn't really straight like it was supposed to be, but I did like the large cups as well as the insert that comes with the set that's like a palette that you can move around and use the whole lid if you'd like. So my first impressions, I just, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I could see some things I really liked. The color choice is pretty nice. The paint itself looked pretty creamy, but at the same time, I wasn't sure how it was going to hold up over time, how is the paint going to dry out? Were the colors gonna be nice and saturated? Hopefully I'll be able to answer those questions for you today. If you follow me on social media, you may have seen some of these pieces before, these gouache pieces that I did in a bit of a series, kind of recently, and these were all painted with this gouache set. I didn't mention it at the time because I knew I wanted to review this gouache, so I wanted it to kind of be a surprise and I also wanted to just spend some time working with the paint and uh, I made all of these pieces with this gouache set and even turned some of them into a sticker pack that you can find on my shop if you want to check out my shop when you a sticker pack. So obviously I have been able to create some pieces that I like and we're going to be creating something new today. I did a little thumbnail sketch with some water soluble graphite just to kind of get the gist of the values. And we're gonna talk about some more of the details about what I like and what I don't like about this set. And it's time to open this thing up after a couple months of having been closed with the lid on not being used. And when I opened this paint up, I found that pretty much all of the paint was still wet. Because there's so much paint in each cup, it just takes so long for it to dry. The only one that was much more dry was the white in the top left corner, which is pretty understandable to be honest, because I had used a ton of that white. I'm really happy that there's two also. They're labeled differently. I believe that one was white and one was a mixing white. I wasn't able to see a ton of difference between the two, but either way, I'm really happy that there are two containers of white paint because even just in the things that I created in the sketchbook I showed you before, I kind of used a lot of white paint. And I was really surprised, pleasantly surprised, about how these paints held up over time and how they've stayed wet. If you were using them more often than I was, like if you were just kind of using it once a week or something like that, or even more often than that, I'm sure the paint would stay relatively moist. Once those cups start to empty a bit more, it will dry out more just because there's less paint. But the container itself does a really good job at keeping air out. And when the cups have a ton of paint in them like this, it's gonna stay wet for a long time. So it's probably not a secret by the title of this video, but 
I kind of really, really love this gouache. And it may seem a little bit crazy for me to even go as far as saying that it's my favorite gouache set, because it's definitely not the highest quality, professional, super luxurious artist quality gouache. But I still really, really love it, and I want to tell you why. And the primary reason for that is because it's just so easy to use. When you look at, like, Marie's gouache, which is another cheap brand of gouache, I believe you can get 18 color set with 12 milliliter tubes for, like, $10. So if you double the amount of paint, then it's right around the same price as this set. But the reason I like this more than the Marie's gouache, even though the quality is pretty similar is just the convenience it's so easy to use you just open it up and you have fresh paint all the time maybe you'll have to spray it with water a little bit to get that outer surface reactivated but it's just so quick and easy to pull out and to use and that means a lot to me i love to just sit down and paint with gouache but it can be a hassle sometimes when you have to get your palette out squeeze your paint out onto a palette or clean the palette and then i never use all of the paint that i squeeze out and then i and then it's left over and my palettes get all filled up and i don't have enough room for fresh paint and working with gouache quote unquote straight out of the tube when it's wet is definitely my favorite way to work with it and this set provides a great way to do that because the paint is pretty much always wet. It'll be interesting to see what this set is looking like in a year from now when I've used more of the different colors and things start to dry out, but at least for the first few months that I've had it, it's been so convenient, so easy to use, and because the paint is affordable, I don't have those fears of wasting too much expensive paint, and when I'm ready to start something new, I just wash the palette off, and I don't have to worry too much about feeling bad about wasting paint that may have been on the palette that I got rid of or didn't keep, and I'm able to just be much more bold with the amount of paint I'm using. I can just experiment and try things, and if they don't work, it's okay. I spend less time stressing myself out trying to save a piece that may not be working and instead I can focus on enjoying myself and experimenting and when an art supply does that for you that's so insanely valuable. I've kind of been going through this progression over the past year or so when it comes to art supplies. I feel like at first it was like, what can I get the most colors out of? You know, when I was first getting started, it's like, how can I get the most colors possible so you end up with cheap supplies? And then I got into the mindset of, oh, I need to be using professional supplies, the best quality I possibly can. So then I started spending more money on art supplies. And now as time has passed, I'm starting to get into this little comfort zone of products that are reliable and that do what I want them to do. Sometimes those are cheap gouache sets like this one that I, to be honest, really, really love. And sometimes it's more expensive watercolors or brushes or paper. But over time, I've just kind of been allowing myself to find the supplies that I love as opposed to going, I need the most possible colors or the most expensive thing or the highest quality. It's really exciting for me to have been slowly over time been discovering what I like, what I enjoy, because the best art supplies for you are the ones that are going to encourage you to create more art. And I know I've talked about this a little bit before. So if sitting down with Sennelier watercolors that have this amazing glow to them when you use them. If that makes you want to just create art piece after art piece, then use them, do that. But if that same brand is going to intimidate you because you're worried about using up expensive paint, then it's just going to hinder you and you're not going to produce as much. I know this isn't a hard and fast rule, but I'm just so excited to have kind of been making this shift in my mindset as far as art supplies go and finding things that just work for me and make me excited to paint more, to create more, to explore more, and this set definitely hits that mark. And that really is a priceless thing to me. It's kind of just worth 
everything. So no, we don't have any pigment information or light fastness info on these paints. So while you may not feel comfortable making pieces that you're planning to sell with these, they can still be really, really useful. And you can always just do something like I'm doing if you want to sell work that you make with them. And I'm just scanning my artwork in, making prints and stickers and using it to explore color combinations and all kinds of super fun things in my sketchbook. Sure, I do wish the mixing area was a little bit bigger, but I could always just use the inside of the lid if I wanted to, so not really that big of a deal. Another small side note is that I used my B 100% cotton watercolor paper for this painting. You guys may remember that I said I actually don't like this paper very much for watercolors. I don't really like the way paint dries on it. It worked really nicely for gouache. I was able to just lay things down, move them around, and the paper didn't get in my way while still providing a cold press texture that I actually really like. So for the billionth time that I'm sure I've said in this video, I really, 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 really enjoyed this gouache set. If you guys would like to see any of the materials that I used, you can check that out down in the description. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. Check out this gouache set if you're interested. I think it's a great place to start. Whether you're having trouble with gouache and you need something that you can throw around without it getting in your way of learning about the medium, or if you're just looking for something fresh and new to kind of, I don't know, just get a new thing. People like to get new things. Okay, anyway, thanks guys. Great gouache, two thumbs up from me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.